we can use array, cluster, set, and map controls and indicators to group data elements. We can also use matrix controls and indicators to enter and display matrix data. The availability of data container controls and indicators may vary depending on the sub palette style that we choose from uh, modern to next gen silver system or classic for data container control and indicators so let's pin up the data container palette so we have array control and indicators we can use uh, use these array controls and indicators to to group data elements of the same type in unsorted order for example we can use a 2d array if our data contains temperature readings and timestamps and we want them to in separate columns then we have matrix controls and indicators we can use to group rows or columns of real or complex scalar data for some math operations such as linear algebra operations for example we can use a matrix indicator to return matrix results from a mathematics VI which we should use the uh, complex matrix control to represent any matrix we should use the real matrix control uh, when the matrix contains only real components as this control reduces the storage requirements and provides more accurate results. Then we have cluster controls and indicators which we can use to group data elements of a mix type that logically belongs together. For example, we can use an error cluster to pass error information. Next we have the set controls and indicators which we can use to view unique data elements of the same type in sorted order. And lastly, we have the map controls and indicators we can use to view key value pairs in a sorted order where all the keys are unique. The key and value can each be any data type. 